Hello. I'll show you something here. A true blast from the past. Little piece of test equipment. Kind of styled like a frequency counter or whatever. But this particular piece of test equipment has a plug in the back for a telephone to plug into. And its specific application is a dial analyzer. Back in the days when they had rotary telephones, they had stuff like this to allow the technician or maintenance people to properly calibrate and adjust uh, rotary dial mechanisms. It shows dial speed and percent brake for each one. I'll turn it on like see what it looks like. When you first turn it on, it goes through a display check routine so you can verify that all the displays and all the leads work. Then, and at first, all the display is blank, but when you dial a button on the telephone, then it will show you green to red, either fast or slow, on the dial speed and the percentage break, whether it's too high of a break percentage or too low of a break percentage. If it gets too high or too low, you start seeing it light up the leads across the top and the bottom. And if you hit the pulse, individual pulse display button, it'll show you the dial speed and a digital readout and the percentage break for each pulse from the rotary dial mechanism. As you can see for this display, it thinks that this more modern phone set to pulse dial is running a little fast on the pulse speed. It's right up right up in the higher limit of the acceptable pulse speed. And well, at least it's pretty consistent. Well, if you had an actual rotary dial mechanism, you'd see it go up and down a little bit depending on drag of the mechanism and stuff. And everything. So, basic maintenance diagnostic piece of test equipment for a phone maintenance person. Let me get you a close up view. Of the standard LED multi segment display stuff. I'll take the cover off. I'd like to see the actual working parts inside. Here is the actual innards of the device. You can see the mounted regulator on the back metal plate as a heat sink you have a relatively standard microcontroller an MC6802 running off of an external EEPROM and a 68021 or two of them ganged up to drive the display, LEDs and everything. Standard power supply and all the associated parts to drive the telephone under test. Transformer and other miscellaneous parts. Let's see here. This is a 68, I'll check here, 
74 LS138, which most likely an address decoder. And the yeah, other associated drivers and stuff for the LED display. Let's see what the EEPROM has. Whoops. Popped one of the cables loose. Have to get that back in place. Let's see what the EEPROM has written on it. Mini dial. 0870-1030 by 588D-5250 and it was date on it is 16 July 86 was the program date on this so yeah, it's been a few years ago but, as you can see, it still works if I get the cable plugged back in. Plug it in. See what it does. And again. Yep, still working, as they say, they don't make them like they used to. Take care.